China has unveiled an ambitious plan to build a fleet of thorium-powered megaships, sparking curiosity and interest among experts and the general public alike. Thorium, a radioactive metal, has long been touted as a potential clean energy source due to its low emissions and high energy output. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. The Chinese government has been investing heavily in thorium technology in recent years, and this latest announcement is seen as a major step forward in their efforts to become a leader in the field. The mega ships, which could be used for both commercial and military purposes, would be powered by molten salt reactors MSRs, that use thorium as a fuel. MSRs have several advantages over traditional nuclear reactors, including improved safety, lower costs, and the ability to use thorium as a fuel source. The technology is still in the development stage, but China's state-owned China National Nuclear Corporation CNNC, has already begun testing MSRs on a small scale. The plan to build thorium-powered megaships is part of China's broader strategy to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels and transition to cleaner sources of energy. The country has already made significant investments in renewable energy, including wind and solar power, but thorium represents a potentially game-changing technology that could help China achieve its ambitious climate goals. The announcement has sparked curiosity and interest both within China and around the world, with many experts hailing the potential of thorium to revolutionize the energy industry. However, there are also concerns about the safety and environmental impact of using thorium, particularly given the potential for nuclear accidents and the difficulty of disposing of radioactive waste. Thorium-powered ships represent a groundbreaking innovation in the maritime industry, with the potential to revolutionize the way ships operate while significantly reducing their environmental impact. Thorium, a radioactive metal, is considered a promising fuel source due to its numerous advantages over traditional fossil fuels and even other nuclear fuels. The significance of thorium-powered ships can be understood through the following points. 1. Cleaner energy source. Thorium is considered a cleaner nuclear fuel compared to uranium, which is commonly used in nuclear reactors. Thorium reactors have the potential to produce far less nuclear waste and can be designed to minimize the risk of catastrophic accidents. This makes thorium an attractive option for powering ships, as it could significantly reduce the environmental impact of maritime transportation. 2. High Energy Density Thorium has a high energy density, meaning it can produce a large amount of energy relative to its mass. This makes it an efficient choice for powering large vessels, as it requires less physical space compared to other energy sources, such as batteries for electric ships. 3. Reduced Greenhouse Gas Emissions The maritime industry is a major contributor to global greenhouse gas emissions. By transitioning to thorium-powered ships, the industry could drastically reduce its carbon footprint. This is particularly important as the world increasingly seeks to combat climate change and reduce carbon emissions across all sectors. 4. Cost Effectiveness In the long run, thorium-powered ships could be more cost-effective than traditional fossil fuel-powered ships. While the initial investment in thorium technology may be high, the operational costs are expected to be lower due to the high energy efficiency of thorium reactors and the potential for thorium to be more readily available and cheaper than uranium. 5. Energy security. Thorium can be a source of energy security for countries that have abundant thorium reserves but lack access to uranium. By using thorium, these countries could reduce their dependence on foreign uranium supplies and enhance their energy independence. 6. Technological advancement. The development of thorium-powered ships represents a significant leap in technological advancement. It pushes the boundaries of what is possible in energy production and could lead to further innovations in the field of nuclear power, not just for maritime applications but also for terrestrial power generation. 7. Safety Improvements Thorium reactors can potentially be designed to be inherently safe, reducing the risk of nuclear accidents. Molten Salt Reactors MSRs, which can be thorium-based, have features that make them safer than traditional water-cooled reactors. For example, if the cooling system fails, the thorium fuel can solidify, shutting down the reaction and preventing a meltdown. 
Traditional fuel-powered ships, primarily powered by heavy fuel oil, HFO, or marine diesel oil, MDO, face several significant challenges that have prompted the maritime industry to explore alternative energy sources such as thorium. These challenges include 1. Air pollution. Traditional fuel-powered ships emit a variety of pollutants, including carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxides, and particulate matter. These emissions contribute to air pollution, which can lead to respiratory diseases, acid rain, and the formation of smog. The International Maritime Organization has introduced stricter regulations to reduce sulfur oxides and nitrogen oxides emissions, but the carbon dioxide emissions from ships are still a major concern as they contribute to climate change. 2. Bunker fuel quality and availability. The quality and availability of bunker fuel are critical for the operation of traditional fuel-powered ships. However, the supply of high-quality bunker fuel can be inconsistent, and the availability of bunker fuel that meets the latest emission standards can be limited in certain ports. This has led to operational challenges and increased costs for ship owners. 3. Fuel cost volatility. The cost of traditional marine fuels is subject to significant volatility due to fluctuations in the global oil market. This volatility can pose financial risks to ship owners and operators, as fuel typically accounts for a large portion of operating costs. 4. Depletion of fossil fuel resources. The world is moving towards a more sustainable energy future, and the finite nature of fossil fuel resources is a concern. The continued reliance on traditional fuels for shipping is not sustainable in the long term, as it contributes to resource depletion and geopolitical tensions over oil supplies. 5. Marine pollution. Spills and accidental releases of heavy fuel oil can cause severe damage to marine ecosystems. Although the risk of major oil spills has decreased over the years due to improved technology and regulation, the potential for environmental damage remains. Additionally, the cleaning up of oil spills can be challenging and costly. 6. Global warming and climate change. The burning of fossil fuels in ships releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, contributing to global warming and climate change. The maritime industry is under increasing pressure to reduce its carbon footprint in line with the Paris Agreement's goals to limit global warming. 7. Economic and regulatory pressures. Regulatory bodies, such as the International Maritime Organization, are implementing stricter emissions controls and efficiency standards for ships. This includes the introduction of the Energy Efficiency Design Index and the Ship Energy Efficiency Management Plan, as well as the Global Sulfur Cap on Fuel, which came into effect in 2020. These regulations aim to reduce the environmental impact of shipping but also impose additional costs and operational challenges on traditional fuel-powered ships. Thorium presents several advantages as a potential solution for powering ships, making it an attractive alternative to traditional fuels. These advantages include 1. Abundance. Thorium is more abundant in the Earth's crust than uranium, the fuel commonly used in nuclear reactors. This abundance makes thorium a more readily available resource for power generation, potentially reducing the dependency on finite fossil fuel resources and mitigating the risk of supply disruptions. 2. Safety. Thorium-based reactors can be designed to be inherently safe, reducing the risk of nuclear accidents. One of the most promising thorium reactor designs is the Molten Salt Reactor MSR, which uses liquid thorium fluoride as both fuel and coolant. MSRs have several safety features. If the cooling system fails, the thorium fuel can solidify, shutting down the reaction and preventing a meltdown. The use of liquid fuel allows for online refueling and reprocessing, eliminating the need for large, solid fuel rods. The low neutron absorption cross-section of thorium means that it does not easily form long-lived radioactive isotopes, reducing the risk of nuclear proliferation. 3. Efficiency. Thorium has a high energy density, meaning that it contains a large amount of energy per unit mass. This high energy density makes thorium an efficient fuel for power generation, allowing ships to carry less fuel and reducing the weight and space requirements for fuel storage. Additionally, thorium reactors can operate at atmospheric pressure, reducing the risk of steam explosions and allowing for more compact and efficient reactor designs. 4. Low Carbon Emissions 
thorium reactors produce very low levels of greenhouse gas emissions, making them an attractive option for reducing the carbon footprint of shipping. Unlike fossil fuel-powered ships, thorium-powered ships do not emit carbon dioxide, nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxides, or particulate matter, significantly reducing their contribution to air pollution and climate change. 5. Waste Management Thorium reactors produce less nuclear waste than uranium reactors, and the waste is less harmful. The thorium fuel cycle can potentially be designed to breed fissile material from fertile isotopes, such as uranium-238, which could lead to a closed nuclear fuel cycle with less long-lived radioactive waste. 6. Operational Flexibility Thorium reactors can be designed to provide a stable and continuous power output, which is particularly beneficial for ships that require a constant supply of electricity for propulsion, navigation, and onboard systems. This stability can lead to more efficient and reliable operations compared to traditional fuel-powered ships, which may experience fluctuations in power output due to changes in fuel quality or supply. 7. Potential for fuel production. Thorium can be bred into fissile material, uranium-233, within the reactor, allowing for a closed fuel cycle. This capability reduces the need for external sources of fissile material, such as uranium-235 or plutonium-239, and enhances the security of fuel supply. Thorium-powered ships have the potential to revolutionize the shipping industry and significantly impact both the maritime sector and the environment. The introduction of thorium as a power source for ships could lead to several transformative outcomes. 1. Reduction in greenhouse gas emissions. The shipping industry is a major contributor to global greenhouse gas emissions, accounting for approximately 2.8% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Thorium-powered ships would emit virtually no carbon dioxide, which could drastically reduce the industry's carbon footprint. This reduction would not only help mitigate climate change but also align the shipping industry with global decarbonization targets and international agreements such as the Paris Agreement. 2. Improved air quality. Traditional fuel-powered ships emit not only carbon dioxide but also nitrogen oxides, sulfur oxides, and particulate matter, which contribute to local and global air pollution. Thorium-powered ships would eliminate these emissions, leading to cleaner air and reduced health risks for coastal communities and marine ecosystems. 3. Energy Efficiency and Cost Saviors Thorium's high energy density means that ships would require less fuel to operate, leading to more efficient energy use and potentially lower operational costs. Additionally, the stability of thorium reactors could reduce fuel consumption and maintenance costs, further enhancing the economic benefits of thorium-powered ships. 4. Innovation and Technological Advancement The development of thorium-powered ships would drive innovation in nuclear technology, materials science, and ship design. This could lead to new industries and job opportunities, as well as advancements in other sectors that could benefit from thorium energy, such as aviation, rail, and electricity generation. 5. Energy Security and Independence Thorium-powered ships could reduce the dependency on imported fossil fuels, enhancing energy security for countries with thorium resources. This could also lead to more stable fuel prices and reduced vulnerability to geopolitical tensions associated with fossil fuel supply chains. 6. Regulatory and Environmental Compliance With the introduction of regulations like the ED and the Global Sulfur Cap, thorium-powered ships could offer a compliance-ready solution that meets and exceeds current and future environmental standards. This could give thorium-powered ships a competitive edge in the market, as they would be able to operate without the constraints of emissions reduction technologies that add complexity and costs to traditional fuel-powered ships. 7. Inspiration for Global Decarbonization Efforts The successful deployment of thorium-powered ships could serve as a model for other industries to adopt cleaner, safer, and more efficient energy sources. This could inspire further investment in nuclear and other low-carbon technologies, accelerating global efforts to transition away from fossil fuels. China is playing a pioneering role in the development of thorium-powered ships, recognizing the technology's potential to contribute to a sustainable future. China's efforts include 1. Research and Development China has been investing heavily in thorium reactor technology, with several experimental reactors under development. 2. Policy Support 
the Chinese government has expressed strong support for thorium energy, including it in its long-term energy strategy and innovation-driven development plans. 3. Commercial Applications China is exploring the use of thorium in various applications, including powering ships, which could make it the first country to deploy thorium-powered vessels. 4. International Collaboration China is engaging in international partnerships to share knowledge and collaborate on thorium technology development, potentially leading to global adoption of the technology. China's leadership in thorium-powered ships underscores its commitment to sustainable development and environmental protection. By spearheading the development and deployment of this technology, China is not only positioning itself at the forefront of a technological revolution but also setting an example for other countries to follow in the pursuit of a cleaner, more sustainable shipping industry and global energy landscape. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out our other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's innovative technologies and their impact on the world. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.